only is it results and requirement, but if we are expecting more, then we have to repent and relinquish. Amen. Oh. Amen. Are you still with me? Yeah. Verse number four says, Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 11 uh, is, is affectionately called the League of the Faithful. For in the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews, there's a list of biblical giants whose faith in God granted them more than most others had ever achieved in their time. By the time you get to the 39th verse of the 11th chapter, it says these were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what was promised. God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. That's the setup because by the time you get to the 12th chapter and the first verse of Hebrews, it says this, therefore... Since we are surrounded by such great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let me see if I can break that down. Here's the deal. There are people who are like Twinkie Christians in the Bible who did not get the opportunity to have access to the Father because they died while he was still God. Come on. Uh -huh. Come, yeah. on. Come on. But you and I have access to the Father because of the Son. Yes. Yes. And because of the Son, we have been forgiven. Yes. Thank you, God. And when we access forgiveness, we have a requirement yes. to forgive others. And when we do, no good thing shall be withheld from us. Yes. But if we don't, we will die just as they did and have to wait for another generation and watch them get it. You have to be willing to repent and relinquish. We have to have the discipline of repenting of any sin that we have done and relinquish any and all sins that have been done against us if we expect to be in pursuit and actually apprehend what it is that we are saying we want more of. All right, I feel like I lost some of you. You can't sit here knowing that God is able and then be frustrated when it doesn't manifest. Yes, right. If you are still holding what they did against you. You might be justified mm -hmm. in being angry mm -hmm. and mad. Mm -hmm. Because they did do what they did. Mm -hmm. But if you decide to hold on to the anger. If you choose not to relinquish them for what they did, then you are choosing to just simply know that God is able without ever finding the manifestation. Mm. Come on, Jesus. Come on, yes. But now the choices is yours, but you said you wanted more. Why, why you want more when you can't handle the little you got? <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? More generally comes in the hands of people who can't stand you. There's a side note, commercial break. That's the reason why you ain't been able to find it yet. Because where you flow normally and naturally, you never get it. Right. But if you don't know how to handle folk who don't know how to handle you, on, then you'll never get the strength from God in order to how to handle what they don't know. Yeah. 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 It, 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 says, it says right there, forgive us our sins. See, we, we good to ask God to forgive us what we did, and we put the expectation that God is going to honor that request. But when somebody needs to be forgiven by you, mm -hmm. 
right now. Come on. Could the length of time that it takes for you to forgive them be equivalent to the length of time that it takes for God to deliver what you're asking him for? To the measure that you use, yeah. shall it be measured unto you. Yeah. 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 Let, let me let me move this train along because I got one more and I'm gonna let you go. See, see the, the, the promises of God are yes and amen, but they're only if you know how to unlock the door. Mm -hmm. So you can't expect God to do something for you if yeah. you haven't done what he expects of you. Yeah. Yeah. But the last, the last one is we have to resist. We have to resist. Okay, so can I recap right quick before I give you my last one? Relationship, uh, then its results, then requirement, repent and relinquish. And the last one is resist. I'm still here in the text, 11th chapter, book of Luke, verse number four. And lead us not into temptation. Amen. We, we, we have to know that our expectations are affected by how we discipline our resistance. Our resistance. Yeah. Somehow we got hoodwinked into believing that just because we have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ and now God is not just God, he is our father, that we can actually have dialogue with demons. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Somehow we, we 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 got a twisted mind effect that because I know God. Yeah, right, 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 right. That now I can walk into places mm -hmm. and entertain people in certain spaces, mm -hmm. and that environment isn't gonna affect my expectation. Mm -hmm. I, I need you to know that, that God will protect you, but He's not gonna give you more in order for you to act a fool in a place you shouldn't have never been. See, let me, let me restate the premise for my argument today, and, and it is, I believe that God has more in store for you. That, that, that what you're believing God for, what you are envisioning God to do, what you're dreaming about, is only the tip of the iceberg of what God is able to do. However, you and I must recognize that our expectation to the manifestation of that is hindered by our resistance to Satan. Right. Mm. Amen. Amen. See, if, 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 if you have a low um, immune system, in other words, you know, if you are susceptible to sickness and disease real easy, if somebody coughs in yeah. the environment yeah, right, and before right. too long you start sniffling, <laughs> No. then there is a good chance you don't have the immune system for every environment. Right. 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 It's pretty clear that, that, you know, you probably don't want to go into nursing. <laughs> you don't want to set as your site being a doctor because you're going to be in an emergency room more than the people you are there to kill. Right. Right. You, you understand that you have to, to thine own self, be true. And some of us have convinced ourselves that now that we in church, we can instantly go to certain places and deal with certain people that you know. Come on. Come on. I ain't talking about people you got a guess for. I'm talking about you saw them slither in the room. And you and I have to have the wherewithal to know that they are going to affect our relationship with God. For the Bible says, uh, uh, right there in uh, James chapter 4, submit yourself then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. See, here's the challenge with most Christians. Can I tell you the problem with most church people? The problem with most church people is that we stick around church long enough to think we can fight Satan. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. uh -huh. And that and that God's gonna back us up when we go looking for a fight. <laughs> the Bible doesn't say that. Right. Which is why you keep getting whooped. Come on. Come on. Uh -huh. And if you're not getting whooped every time you act stupid, at least that's probably the culprit as to why you ain't got what you're looking for. Because uh -huh. the Bible says in James chapter 4, 
verse 7. Submit yourself to God. And then resist the devil. And he will flee. It didn't say entertain. It didn't say dialogue. It didn't say discuss. It said run. When you submit yourself to God, your level of discernment goes up so that you can resist it, not entertain it. There's no holiness for how long you can entertain the devil. You don't get kudos for that. You don't get brownie points for sitting in a satanic environment because you saved. Now, now, let's just be clear. Let me set the atmosphere. Because here's the thing. You are glad. You are more than welcome to go into that atmosphere and stay there until Jesus comes back. But if you're expecting for more. Amen. Come on, Pastor. You have to know that your ability to entertain foolishness, yeah. your willfulness, right. yes. Mm. Yes. not to resist what you know yes. Come on. Mm. Mm -hmm. is affecting your ability to receive what you're after. Amen. Amen. That's Bible. Yeah. When you come in Sunday after Sunday, all broken, battered, and bruised, asking God to bandage you up, <laughs> while at the same time making a silent request for more, but you don't have the sense to run when you get your butt kicked. <laughs> I know. Nobody likes that one. <laughs> but that's fine. Amen. He said, lead us not into temptation. Lead us not. In other words, the moment that I realize or I recognize I'm on the wrong road, lead me the other way. Come on. Come on. Don't let me fall victim again. Mm. Hallelujah. I'm about to close this out, but is anybody else realizing that you ain't got time for the foolishness? Amen. 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 Okay, I'm, my time is running. Can, can I tell you, here, here's, here's the thing. The Bible says in the Old Testament that man is given 120 years at first. After the days of Noah, we're given 120 years. So even if you live to a ripe old age of 120 years, you ain't got a whole lot of time left. Not to achieve what it is that you said you want. Uh -huh. I don't know about you, but I don't want to achieve it and then die the next day. Amen. 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 I want to achieve it and I want to dwell in it. Yeah. Right. 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 You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't have a lot of time to keep repeating mm. right. Amen. unnecessary. Yeah. And do you know what sin is for the believer? Mm. Repeating. Amen. Mm. Amen. It is not recognizing that I'm being led astray. It's not the act. It's the road. See, the devil will have you look right in believing that it's the act, but you don't realize that it's the road that you're on. You fail to stop being led by foolishness. Lead us not into <laughs> temptation. The enemy uses common things to get our attention away from God. But it's the common that we've come to grow sick of. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the common that's caused us to grow a little ill. I see the same thing one more time. Mm -hmm. Jesus. If I'm here in this same place this time, Ooh, next year, yes, 